I met Marty some years ago, briefly. Well, not briefly. I spent an evening with him when he was when he was discussing his love of Paul Pressburger films, and and how he's since then restored many of them, and there there are whole uh, genres, canons of work that would have been thrown away, lost in lost in storage rooms. Uh, he's managed to find bits of film, piece them together. That is an act of love, uh, 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 and a great quest that he's on to honor cinema, to preserve its memory, and to move it forward as a great craftsman. That I knew before I met him. But I knew it in, in, a, in an historic way, not in, a, not in a visceral gut way of reacting and interacting with him. And what you get, of course, it, with the real, the real thing, the real person on the film set, and that's where you can really discover a director. You know, all the rest is academic. You really discover the true gifts of, the particular gifts of this particular director, this genius. And what you realize is that it's a very loving set that uh, I, uh, and um, I avoid all sentiment when I use that word. It's a deep affection for what he's doing, which means that it can be jolly demanding, because if you love something, you're very demanding. You need it to be, to convey the essence of the of the of the dilemma of the moment of the of the, the the character hinge point the essence so a, a deeply affectionate need for exactness is is what you is what you enjoy with with Marty and a shared discovery as well with, between him the actors the director of photography everybody everybody shares Marty's um, vision, and he, of course, in turn shares your own vision. Uh, my input, for example, were, it was very generously accepted by him. My silhouette, my pipe, my suit, my everything was, were, even the way I spoke, was completely accepted, discussed, and accepted by him generously. Dr. Corley is my character, and um, he's in charge of a high security prison in the 1950s. Uh, very different from what it would be now. High security mental institution, I'm so sorry, it's not a prison, um, uh, for the criminally insane. So that the people he's dealing with, the people he's helping to cure, are severely deranged. And he is a champion of a new form of healing. I can't really say too much, but he's at the cutting edge of something that is that is different from how they, how they have been, and his relationship with Leo demonstrates that and, and, and shows the areas into which he's prepared to go to substantiate his theories and his thoughts and his feelings about his patients.